Where are we going? I don't know. There's seven quests. How the fuck do we pick which one to do? Uh, it's really hard because I don't actually know where we're supposed to do them. That's you, to, you just gotta start reading some of them and find out. Um. Okay, I Let's will do see. that. So where is we an got, enemy? Let's see. Dwarven digging, broken tools. Um, right of vision, wellstone, and amber corn. Daggers of the Wind Fury, Wind Fury Talon. That's in, that sounds easy. That sounds like one where you just kill a bunch of birds and call it a day. I can and do that's one all along or the maybe mountains all. edges away from the road. Well, shit. I don't know. Where that <laughs> is. Maybe it's this way. The mountains edges. I wonder if we just go straight then hang a left kind of towards the actual mountain areas. If we'll just encounter yeah. them. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Flatland Cougar and Swoop. Do we have to kill those? Uh, Prairie Wolf Paws, Pale Mane Tanners. Trophy Are Swoop. These Trophy you can Swoop see. kill. Kill the, kill the Swoop. There's a, there's a Cougar and a Swoop here. Swoop Kids Friendly. The, the Swoop. swoop. <laughs> oh god, the Swoop is, is orange level. <laughs> I don't He's scaly. Yeah, and there's two of us. I pressed all the wrong buttons. Whoops. Aha! You're stunned temporarily, and melee is reduced. And this cougar is up on my ass. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Let's that miss sound cougar. is so problem. Owie. What will I do? Oh, right. I heal. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Fight started over. This thing lasts a while, huh? Oh yeah, my, my totem lasts two minutes. That's basically how long any fight is. Yeah, usually. Good, good to know. Dead. I'm used oh. to shittier buffs, like slice and dice. I could have looted the bird, but I guess I'm not allowed to anymore, so... Uh... I don't know. Do, do, nah, we, have a, do we have a, a cougar quest? Whoa, that's so many. Look at this fucking ball of Torin. This oh guy God. is botting hard. Look I at mean, all the bot. Him, though. He has it. Look at yeah. he, he's it's he's playing as roof and then pinch and lead are training behind him in follow mode and they're clipping through each other perfectly. There might be a third one on top of that. There might be four of them total. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, did you see that guy? Yeah, that was incredible. I will save you. Nope, I didn't help. I didn't help at all. Heal. Oh, we do have a quest Oof. for this. They have paws. Yeah, we have a prairie wolf quest. We need to steal their hands. God, you're so bad at skinning at the beginning. What do you mean? Oh, you keep failing? Yeah. But at the beginning of the game, like we're level, we're level six right now, which is the equivalent of 30 skinning. But, uh, but you only get the skill now and it starts off at level zero. You have to sit there and like grind it up to even being at your level so you can stop failing every time. And then and then even when you succeed, they're ruined leather scraps. I don't think there's a cougar quest, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Oh yeah, we need to kill we need to kill cougars. Probably need to kill it's, everything, honestly. It's it well at the very least it's for Mazaranch. For Mazaranch, we need one we need a wolf heart, a cougar femur, a plain strider scale, and a swoop gizzard. Oh, I'm not tracking that quest. Come to think of it, I think this quest taught me the You're word good. gizzard. <laughs> did it really? Yeah, I think it did. I think it's the first time I heard the word gizzard was that quest. I remember, I, I, I remember this because like all these other quests are like get 15 of this or that, and that one specifically like get a rare item from these four enemy types. And I'm like, what the fuck is a gizzard? <laughs> Excuse me. Is that a blitz reference? A porno is that <laughs> pornography? <laughs> Is that a pornographic <laughs> terminology? <laughs> Is that a reference to boobies? Oh yeah? Well, too bad that bird resisted me. Didn't you like are about dances. to aggro that. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, Never mind. He's gone. <laughs> he's skipping Oh, here down. it comes. Here it comes. Oh boy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Here, you can have that. Yeah. I think the uh, I think that was I think he was chasing somebody else and then he then he then he uh, leashed. 
but while he was leashing, he wouldn't aggro on you, but he was leashing to a location that was still within range of you. Yeah. Yeah, and the, especially in these situations, it's nice to have uh, an AoE armor buff for us. Yeah. That's definitely, that's definitely helping, and we both have one. <laughs> you have a cast to put on both of us, and then I have a totem to help both of us on top of that. Fuck, he's tanky. <laughs> right? Well, he's level 9, so, yeah. you know. I give him credit. I should have healed like you a moment ago. <laughs> no, that's fine. I got it. I just need to regenerate my mana. I'm just bad at it. There you go. Now you're picked up. I got one heal on you. We just got mana mismanagement up the ass. Yeah, yeah. Oop. We both let it run out. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. I'm out of range. I'm out of range. Ah, an acorn. That's also an objective. Oh, you're right. Like, we are flooded with objectives right now. And they're basically just monsters and cr and pickups that are in every direction at once. Which is nice. Makes it easy. Alright, I'm ready. Time to start smacking. Are you ready for auto attack? Yeah. <laughs> Beat this cat to death. Beat him with your stick. This here's my, my this here is my cat beating stick. Eh. This, the cat beating stick is ineffective. <laughs> A femur. Hey, that's the unique one that you need for the main that one quest. Hey, he also gave one to me. I'm really annoyed that I can't track my quests. <laughs> that's a horrible problem to have. Yeah. Finding out it that you're not best. having that problem is extra annoying because that means it's just somehow magically happening to me. I'm like, fuck you, game. Don't spite me. <laughs> How dare you. This is not what I paid for. But do you even know what you're expecting to get from these cats? Uh, a femur? You don't you already get one? Yeah, but you need one, right? No, I, got, I said I got one too. Oh, well, yeah, we're, shit, just wa we're just wasting our time. <laughs> Sorry. We're just wasting our goddamn time. Well, I could use the experience. Yeah, but the, everything else is also experience. <laughs> There's no lack of wildlife to slaughter here. It's all, it's all I can see. It's an open-ass field with no detail with 500 mobs in it. I mean, It's quite a contrast true. from other areas. I will say this is a way nicer zone to start in than Durotar. Yes, that is Dur an Dur absolute truth. <laughs> Durotar gives you that fucking orc, the, the orc village and the troll village that are like across the entire map from each other and you start in the troll village but they give you several quests you can't do till you're like level 8, so you have to go up to the yeah. orc village, then come all the way back down, then go all the way back up. And there's also quests in that process that send you into, into Orkrimmar. It's a nightmare. And then half the quests are just secret people hanging out in huts around the landscape that you could just never know exist. Like the equivalent of that paper we found earlier. Got it. Oh, yeah. There's a, yep, there's, I got a gizzard and a quill. No! Yeah! I'm out of range. Got out of range. What is this? Brutal. We got this. We've got a totem. And a level 9 fucking gizzard again. Oh no. Live. <laughs> Take that, dog. <laughs> he resisted my stomp. I guess he is flying. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have seen that coming, honestly. He's just like, uh, come on, man. I need more manas. Stick. Oh, he's a level nine. That's Stick. why. Yeah, all the swoops that's seem why. to be. Stick. You stop it. Stick. Sir. <laughs> hey, I got the prayer wolf heart. Am I done with Maserat yet? I need a plain strider scale and then I'll be done with that. I think I remember that being the hardest objective to do, and it's the one I'm going to finish first. 
is to get these four obscure items. If we fight next to my totem, I don't have to make a new one. <laughs> beat the dog down to death it's weird how this can be permanently nostalgia where i like i wouldn't want to play another game that's very similar to this yeah it's just because it's like it's burned into my brain yeah it's like that's the same way i mean it's like how i'll be like i know that they are like the shooting is mechanically terrible in perfect dark but it's also the best game ever made <laughs> yeah and i love it <laughs> yeah that's that's what i mean there's a difference though, like that's not We like, beat the whole goddamn thing and I was like, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that was, that's not like a That was such a fun th series to do. There's certain types of nostalgia though. Like there's varying levels of it. You know, there's ones where you're unhealthy about it, and yeah. there's some where you're just childish about it, where you're like, it's just it, always fun to me. <laughs> it also helps that games like Perfect Dark don't exist. I uh, yeah, that's also true. Like supposedly oh, the Time Splitters games were like it, but there's games like Time Splitters don't exist now either. <laughs> like that's also gone. <laughs> like there's that is not there's not a through line of games that have continued that legacy. Like it's yeah. just gone. Shooters are just a series of linear missions that you play through nowadays, or more likely they're RPG mechanic filled looter shooter grind games. I got another bag. Hey, well, you know, everybody <laughs> wants, everyone wants that thing. graphic realism. Get fucked, Andrew. Oh no. I got a second bag. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this blows. Can I get a bag? Man, I need a bag. <laughs> you can skin him, by the way. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Man. I got a blue sucks. bag and I got a green bag. <laughs> I have just the one bag and it's always <laughs> full. It's always 100% full. Boom, boom. He dead. No, he's not. Yeah, <laughs> be dead. Just. Oh God, there's a person flying. A fly path guy? Yeah. I say as if people can fly in any other way in this version of the game. Yeah, no, there is no flying. Yeah. And there are significantly fewer flight paths. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. Because then you don't have to go like, shit, where the hell? <laughs> it's kind of the worst. Ooh, it Because it, it means that you just, it just oh. means that you have to walk to a bunch of places because there's no flight path. Bring him back here, yeah. there's still a totem. Come back here, there's still a to Ow, there's still a totem. Yeah, you did it. I'm Punch helpful. Him in the boat <laughs> hole. Somebody shot, punched him in the water hole. Uh. Hmm. On one hand, I'm trying to follow the quest we're doing, but on the other hand, we're doing like six quests simultaneously anyway. So, yeah. manually following them by t like, because the only way I can follow them is to page through them in the quest log and click on them manually and just look at them in the quest log to see my progress. <laughs> But we're making progress on like 12 consecutive quests, so it's like, that's not really a solution either. It'll be easier to filter down once we complete like mm. two or three of them, and then we then we have to be more selective. I like how we set out to do the Harpy quest, and that's the only one we're not doing in the entire quest log, basically. Yeah. I can't believe there I'm still like halfway to... Level seven. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not that much further ahead. Although I, I did get two free, faster. two free quests. <laughs> I've got 25 percent to go. That is handy. Yep. That, that uh, that's that uh, that that satisfying sink that we had was sabotaged by me being a shaman. I can't that. that was my satisfying shaman sink sabotage alliteration. <laughs> Jeez. All right, all buffed up and ready to go. I know this all for sure has a quest. All buffed up and ready to go. Gonna kill a bird now, but this. <laughs> shoot him in the face now. Lightning bolt. Hey, 
And he resisted. Oh, I have no. zero percent mana. Good. <laughs> and stop. That's what I hoped. There we go. Stop resisting like... my ground-based stun, <laughs> flying <laughs> stop enemy. Stop resisting. <laughs> this is the police. He and can hurt gone. me. I can self-heal. Quills. Peter. Uh, oh no, there's more behind this cat. Stop. We don't need to kill you. You're literally we, worthless to us. But we will. Uh, he's worth about 15 copper to me. <laughs> oh yeah, because you can... I can, sap, him. I can sap his life coat. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I just think of those like semi-terrifying skinning animations from like Red Dead where he just like rips the whole fucking skin off the, the animal in one, yeah. in one motion. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's... man, that is some like... I that's don't know. apparently true to life. Yeah, but that's you make still a, you some make a like few this. like key cuts, and then you just like rip their entire flesh off in one in one piece. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. That's some <laughs> sociopathy shit. It's it's a uh, you definitely you're like numbing yourself to something to get there. Where are you? You're not helping. Yeah, it's something aggroed on me behind from behind. Oh, I can't skin uh... it. Here you get a heal. Thank you. <sighs> Just skin the, the wolf right there, yeah. Or loot the wolf right there. Yeah, I got I got aggro I got aggro from behind and fought it. Ah. Uh. Oh, once you looted it, I was then able to loot it to get my prairie paw, but I couldn't loot it till you looted it. Weird. Did you get a prairie paw from it too? Uh, I don't think or so. Are you, or are you done with that quest already? It might if you already be done, done with that quest. If you're already done with the quest, it might have rolled that there's a paw there, but wouldn't let me loot it till you looted it. And then once you looted the part of the loot you're allowed to get, then it let me get the quest item, maybe. But maybe. I'm just making shit up. I don't know how this game works. Get yeah, stunned, I... loser. <laughs> <laughs> Take this, dog. I will say, a two-handed staff is incredibly unsatisfying attack speed-wise. Yeah, it's not the greatest. It takes like six years to swing it. Compared Got to like scale. compared to dual wielding daggers, it's such a problem. Not enough manner. And punch only him. five thousand more hours of this, and we'll be level sixty. Thank goodness. On a server, no one we know. That's the exact level I want to be. Right all now. the assholes that I know that play this game are all playing on servers that are full, and I'm like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> okay, I'm not waiting check. to play video games. No. Yeah, complete the the gizzard scale uh -oh. fever heart thing. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He's special. We are, we're gonna have to work together here. He's level 10. That's fine. Were we supposed to kill him? I just, I just hit, I just shot him because he was there, and then I only realized afterwards, like, oh, we're wandering into, we're, we're getting to Thunder Bluff now. Like, these are high-level monsters. I remember that there's a rare spawn somewhere in here. He resisted. I remember that there's a rare spawn somewhere here under Thunder Bluff, like under the bridges here and stuff in between the mesas that like you'd want to mm. tame as a hunter because he's super rare and back in vanilla wild the stats of your pets actually mattered yeah well, whereas nowadays they, i think nowadays your pets just are there i think they're oh, not one yeah well they're they're everywhere over here that's just a unit type it's not a rare guy i think mm. nowadays uh pets and wow are more like categories and i think they instantly match your current level and you don't have yeah. to keep them happy at all. And I think they basically all have the same stats as everybody else within the same category as them. There's Silverleaf over here. I don't did he turn out? Did I don't he, have did, herbalism yet. Oh, shit. I couldn't Loot. find the person. Uh, well, we're at Thunder Bluff if you want to just go in. <laughs> we are we are at our capital. Oh. Yeah, so, I guess so we, we, probably... we could We could just walk inside if you want to get herbalism. Uh, yeah, and we, we, just we can that. both find fishing. Let's just get our shit and get... Oh, wait, where's we, the elevator? It's probably near the path at the front. 
Yeah, you're probably right. What are you gonna do for your second profession? Wait, where the fuck? Where are you? Where am I? I'm on your map. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Check the hills. I didn't see you. I was trying to look through the uh, plains. Because they're so wide and open. Stop following me, cougars. I'm not you interested. Me. Don't stop resisting. Stop resisting. Oh, God. On the ground. Someone needs to turn you into a coat. Hmm. I can't Because well, we, cause we both get to have two main professions. And then you can have yeah. first aid and cooking and fishing no matter what. We do have those to pick. So I'm already skinning. I could do skinning and leatherworking, but I might do skinning and mining. Mining? Mm. Just just another just another resource grab to sell. Yeah. Without necessarily bothering with crafting. Oh my goodness. You had a quill at least. Stop dying on me. <laughs> Never. Never. I like dying. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Oh, I got two buffs. Rock skin and Mark of the Wild. I live. What was that? Is is rock skin also yours? Oh uh, no. Oh. That's yours. What do I have rock skin from? You either you maybe pass by somebody or may it. Uh, what well, is, there's a wolf on us. I don't think I know what oh. rock skin is. <laughs> I don't think I have that. Because you just have Mark of the Wild, huh? Yeah. They usually, don't, they usually don't go crazy with buffs. It's like every class kind of has like one buff, and then then once it's time for raids, it's your job to fucking spam it on everybody, then drink, and then spam it on more people, <laughs> then drink, because <laughs> you have forty fucking people to buff with God. your class buff. Uh, I hate, I hate that like, shit. What is it like? I think like you have Mark of the Wild. I think paladins yeah. have might. Priests have something. Warlocks have something. Mages have like intellect or something. Like they're yeah, like there's it is. so many. Everyone has like their one buff to try to spam on the entirety of the party. So you'd have like a, you'd have like an interface element that helps you tell w which people have the buff you're supposed to give them, so that you can s just get through the process of giving it to everybody. God, I remember raid wipes were so much drama. Not just because you were trying to do a 40 or 25 man boss that everyone had, where everyone had to do the right thing or we'd wipe. But also because the the, the reset it was so long, yeah. Because everyone would die, then everyone would run all the way back to the look. This this is totally gonna leave us, isn't it? Deuces. Nope. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but <laughs> short shortcut. <laughs> no, I gotta get the other side before it leaves. <laughs> That's always the problem with the fucking thunder bluff. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> You know what? I'll be honest. Like when I played EverQuest, uh, I played Wood Elves, and they had their entire their place was oh! in the trees like this. I um, forgot the tabard costs a fucking gold. Yeah, it's one gold. Oh, the bag vendor's here ah, <laughs> to taunt you, and you're no money. And you're no money, man. Look at this town. It's like full of civilized people. I forgot. Can you turn ruined leather scraps into leather? Um, that I don't actually know. I'm not sure if I should be holding on to this or not. Half of my fucking inventory is just quest items, and I'm kind of upset A lot. It. Oh yeah, there's, there's a lot of unique quest items we're currently carrying around. Yeah, and <laughs> it's not great. What's the... Shit. What's the key to... To organize your bag? There isn't one. Oh fuck, was that a thing that came later? It never existed in any version of WoW I played until I came back after several expansions. No. There was, but, but there are mods. There definitely were, like, the mods that make you ha like, I remember all in one inventory would make my entire inventory, all of my bags would combine oh, into one, one bag, bag screen, and then would also sort them on its, like, it wasn't sorting them in the real okay. bags, it was just sorting the display of them. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you go if you find any generic guard, you can ask for directions to whatever guy you want to find. I'm gonna go ask for directions to the fishing vendor so we can go find that guy. Fashion, fishing. Go in peace. And it's on this island. We're on the right island. 
He's just across this way because we have to walk. We have to like walk up this spiral staircase totem in the middle if you want to get to different parts of the central island. Oh yeah. And if you go to the second floor, it takes you to I think the. Oh, he might be further up. No, he's at, yeah. He's at, I think the fishing vendor is at the third floor. Herbalism vendor is on. The second and there's floor. cooking supplies. You wish to sleep. Fruit vendor. Ancestors watch over you. Oh, Herbalism yeah. supplier. Charred All wolf right. meat. Doesn't that sound appealing? Charred food. Hell yeah. Have you been expecting me? Well, train me in herbalism. Man, don't tell I, me how to I think I remember life. the food being worth it because it would give you buffs when you get to the better ones. For what? I think when you get to the later food recipes, then you get the well-fed uh, buff from oh, eating yeah. said food, and it, and they all so all the different food items you get give you different uh, stat upgrades, and so that's why it's kind of place? so that's why it's kind of worth cooking. Third floor is fishing, and cooking. Where's fishing guy? This guy, right here. Oh, I see cooking trainer. I do right not see here. I'm on your map. I'm on your map. I'm on your map. God, you can find right me on here. your map. <laughs> I'm always on your map. One silver, damn man, you gonna cost me a penny. That's a lot to learn. Really, it's small fish. All right, man, I'll I learn have, it. But I'm back down to no money. Can I get a fishing pole? Twenty-three cents. God damn. Man, these quests better make me Let's rich. See. I might as well just do skinning and leather working. That makes sense. I didn't. I didn't really want to do a crafting profession, but my go-to would probably be to be doing skinning and herbalism. And it's really dumb for us to fight over corpses or flowers. We yeah. should segregate those off. So you do herbalism, and I'll do. I'll do skinning and leatherworking. You can do. You could do herbalism and alchemy if you want. I was thinking about that. An alchemist, alchemist to druid kind of makes this kind of sense. What brings you here? Where the hell is this located at? Guy has a quest. Oh, he wants leather. Oh well, you're in luck. I can provide you with some high quality leather. For the low, low price of your entire Fucking life savings. expensive. <laughs> All right, are you the person who teaches alchemy? Hey, where's the alchemy teacher? Supplies, expert alchemist, journeyman alchemist. Do you teach it? Fucking you? Yes, you can turn ruined leather scraps into leather. Right, so I'm going to have enough light leather to turn in for this quest and be even further ahead of you in experience. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Well, I have herbalism and enchanting, or and uh, alchemy now, so. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Um, what brings you here? I guess let's keep doing quests. Oh, I should find my trainer. <laughs> Hold on. Did you just, w really, how? Did you turn in a quest? Yeah. Friend. Oh. He wanted 12 leather, uh, 12 light leather. Oh, and, I, and you already I, had it. And I, I, well, I had 10 light leather and like 10 scraps. So I was able to turn those into light leather and then sell the leather. Nice. And so I gave him that and, and I dinged. Yay. Wow. <laughs> Leaving your ass behind. Yep. It's I a good thing only... I have all these bags, though, because between my totem, my skinning knife, and my fishing pole, and my leather, uh, I'm using up a lot of that excess backspace and pretty much just confining myself right back to the original bag anyway. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, there's the flight path guy. Where the hell is my trainer? Ah, I can afford to make a cloak. Looking for something special. Might as well use this class correctly. Jeez. So coarse thread. And stitch leather cloak. Goodbye. My two remaining light leather can become a little, a little better cape. A little better cape. A little better cape. Oh, Look at this cape. It's you. just a little bit better. Look at my cape. It's a little better. That's all it does. 
It's slightly better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a big ass pipe. Holy shit. I mean, have Some you seen? Say, have you seen like the size. the battle for Azeroth? I think it is where it has, shows like the guy, the Torin that's like blowing into a nose horn. Oh god, he's got like a double barrel nose horn, where it's like a giant. That's... It's a giant horn, but instead of a mouthpiece, it has like a pronged nose piece that goes into uh, both of his nostrils, uh, and he just fucking goes at it. Uh, just outputs volume. <laughs> I do not like that. That does not sound good to me. Like, my it head might, is It might just... not be Battle for Azoth. It might be a loading screen. It's either a loading screen or it's a... Or it's, uh, a, or it's a... Or it's a... I can't remember if it's a loading screen or if it's a... Uh, trailer. Or like promotional image or something I don't have any what you doing over here it's trying to get training in your class but I, yeah but there's nothing I can do you gotta be an even level oh, you already hit, you, you haven't leveled since you hit level 6 in the first place back at town because well, well shit. we have been doing some questing we haven't turned in a single one <laughs> and let's go do oh, some yeah. quests just jump off the bridge. That is a dangerous thing to do. I have tested it. <laughs> we'll survive. That is a dangerous, dangerous thing to do. Ooh, what's going on down there? Where? Does the see those little houses down there? Yeah. I wonder if there's a quest there or something. Go check it out. He's got like one of those like how fast is the wind going things set up. Oh. There's the herbalism dude. There's an elevator over here. To speak? <clears throat> There's one now. Uh, yeah, first day is too much hassle to get to. Uh, <laughs> oh, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Made, my instinct totally came in last time, like from being used to these fucking elevators from like 10 <laughs> years ago. So like when I made that shortcut jump, I'm like, I know this is necessary. I just know. <laughs> in my gut and then you didn't make it I'm like yes <laughs> all those years <laughs> I've been training for this moment <laughs> ow my cow that legs <laughs> ow my cow legs they're not meant for this That took a lot of yeah. spellcast to kill. It did. Oh, because it was level a uh, level level nine flatland. Pro oh, these are venture oh, pro shit. people. Oh, this is not a quest hub. We should probably leave. I thought there might be quests here, but this is a quest objective. <laughs> yeah. We definitely are gonna get we, told to go fight some venture co people. No, we don't quest? have that quest. I don't think so. No, I, we That'd, still need to kill some plane striders. I didn't realize that. Let's see. Uh, where so. are the pro broken tools? I don't know where that is. Uh, collect the dwarven tools. Like oh, the, these dwarves something? are preparing a dig site to the northwest. Okay. So it's on that west part that we didn't explore. If we head along, if we head south along this west side, we should we should encounter the dwarves and the harpies. Okay. I think, while also cleaning up whatever we have left of the other things. Yeah, the Wind Fury tag. Yeah. So we need the digging tools and the Wind Fury talons, which are the dwarves and harpies, but I still need two well stones, one amber corn, three swoop quills. Whatever the pale manes are? I haven't even looked into that yet. And then. Oh, plain strider talons still. There's a lot. There's a lot of objectives. It'd be very useful to be able to track them. <laughs> It's like a uniquely important thing to have. Please have talents. You oh. are. You didn't come with me at all. <laughs> no, I was fighting a bird. There's peace bloom here, and silver leaf. Where are you? So, wait, Map, why are you dude. Up there? I, I said I said, I was just saying that we we should, we should go along the west. We should go south along the west wall on our way back. Oh, I thought you were just reading a map. 
No. I was saying I was saying that's the direction we should go on our return trip, and you were saying oh. yes, so I thought you were following. Oh no, I was. I but was instead, you you just here. fucking crazy. Sorry, in the middle of the fight. <laughs> Not enough mana. Oh, there's a Kodo here. What? The things that will be our mounts. Oh, the... Because we're so whatever. fucking big, we need dinosaurs instead of horses. Yeah. Which is pretty rad. I wonder if they have a cow mount. A cow mount? That's just a cow? Yeah. That you can ride as your cow man? Yeah. What you're thinking of doing? Yeah. You monster. I wanna ride a cow. I mean, things will get pretty weird if they ever had to add, add horse people to the game. <laughs> That'd be pretty fucking awkward. Mulgore's under attack. Oh, shit. You know what we should do? Completely nothing. Yeah. Because we're level six. Yeah, we could Trying die on shit. We could we could always die on them. That's fun. Uh, why? Why? You getting at you getting aggroed? Yeah. By the flatland cougar. This place is not flat. <laughs> that is an it's inaccurate not. statement. Hi, cat. Oh, did he leash? He's gone. Oh my mana. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> evade. Evade. Oh, my mana. oh, there's an orc just hanging around. No, oh, yeah, in the wrong zone, just doing his thing. He can live oh. his life however he wants. Oh no, he's level fifteen. Oh damn. Yeah, he's he's here he's here for the pet I was just talking about. <laughs> he's totally here to tame the pet that's right there. Hunt, hunting for him, hoping for the best. It's a rare spawn. You have to like look for it all day. Really? Yeah, no, it was I remember I remember my brother doing it because he was a, a hunter player and it was like a problem. Like, it's, a, an, it's an obnoxiously rare spawn, but it's supposed to be really good. Well... There's a lot of that that goes into min-maxing in certain certain classes. Kind of oh, like I, mean, you, I believe it. It's kind of like how you get, like, a high-level person to rush you through the Wind Fury quest as a warrior. Because the Wind Fury quest is balanced for, like, level, like, 50 or whatever the hell, but you get it at, like, level, like, 35 or something, like, obnoxiously earlier than that. Oh, and so, okay. and so, like, you get the quest super early, but it's red is when you're first able to pick it up. But if somebody completes it for you, then you have a weapon that's balanced for a way too high of a level, and it doesn't have a level requirement on the weapon itself because it's a quest reward. So you can be massively overpowered. And in particular, that was a thing for uh, for uh, twinking. So you could have a weapon twinking. that's from. A yeah, between PvP battlegrounds as a as a character that you specifically deck out to stop at like level twenty nine or thirty nine or something like that. Oh, you you not remember that? No, I don't remember doing any of that. That might have been like beyond that, that, the that was beginning of WoW. It was it was there oh, from okay. the, like at the moment battlegrounds existed pretty much, and they made it so that battlegrounds had like a separate tier based on every 10 levels of character progression so that you would only play with people that are kind of close to your level oh so you, it gotcha, was like gotcha. level 50 to 59 40 to 49 and so on because it's it ends at nine because of course everyone level 60 gets to play together because the, the goal is to eventually have a balanced experience so the level cap is all people playing together with no with no de level deviation so you could stop at like level 29 39 49 or 59 or so on and just count. deck yourself out with the best possible gear for that particular tier and it, it's kind of like smurfing where like you can intentionally be way yeah. too powerful so you'd yeah, get like you would get like enchantments from like and you you get like crafted gear and like enchantments on your gear and like stuff like that that would make you massively more powerful than you're supposed to be because like there was certain buffs you could get that are from higher levels that would still be usable on lower level characters like I think I think some enchantments worked that way back then and so you just do anything to game the system to be overpowered and just shit on people all day 
because everyone everyone else that goes into battlegrounds is like level like a, in their teens is definitely just like fucking around and like being like i want to play a battleground today why not so yeah. if you're so if you're a nightmare career person that has like i know i have a level 19 character that i keep then like you're just flattening these people that have like whatever gear had that happened to drop for them i mean sometimes you can uh you know yeah you can gain the system because there are inherently just people who yeah. are like you know taking it that seriously but like one of the most severe forms of twinking and i, I did it for a little bit because it was kind of fun was <laughs> the fact that you can get you can get the wind the wind fury axe so early compared to the level that it's balanced for which mm -hmm. is that one like can opener looking like buzzsaw looking axe that yeah. warriors can get and it's just so powerful it makes you way overpowered for PvP for a while, but also just makes it so easy to, for for the next ten levels of leveling to happen. You just you're just too strong. Well, I already have all my plan strider talents. Gotcha. I do not know if I do. No, I still need two more. Where are the pale mains? Let's see. Hell no. Come uh, back here. I, I'm gonna hit you with a stack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't loot that. I can't loot that. GG. Okay, I'm reading it now. <laughs> the pale mains are to the south of Bloodhoof. To the south of the village we started in. Or that we were just in, not that we started in. Ah, okay. So, the moment we went north to fight these creatures, we were not going in the pale main direction anyway. So we'll Makes do that. Sense. We'll like drop by to turn, off, turn in what we have so far, then do that one by going south. That's the gnolls, actually. <laughs> what oh. we were talking about earlier. The pale main are gnolls. The power of reading quests. Wanted. 